I'm going to have to make the videos a little bit shorter than I wanted, but I'm having problems getting the videos to record correctly. So I'm going to skip to the juice of an RPG, and we're going to go directly to magic and attacking. And then the following tutorials, I'll show you facing and why we made all those variables in, the, in step one. Okay, you'll notice up here I got my talent, which I can change. Here's my stamina bar, which is affected when I use my sword. If it gets too low, then I will get tired. I also have health, intelligence, which both can recharge, and there's, yeah, okay. So anyway, let's go. Here's my enemy, my nemesis, the mushrooms. And they're pretty friendly unless I do this. Sorry, guys. But luckily for me, I have a shield and I can block him. Oop, if he touches me, it does hurt. My health is down. But against mushrooms, you should do fairly well. And unless I'm tired of using uh, my sword, I can use a fireball. Yeah, baby. And if it gets too tough out there, I could use a little bit of lightning, a little bit of thunder. Oh, yeah. Get away. Let's get this guy's up here. All right. Pretty cool, huh? Let's look. take a look at that. First of all, I want to show you one collision that's going on. Remember, if you watch the 2D sprite tutorial, you'll know why I made this walk block and my Aaron down. While Aaron down controls all the variables, walk block controls all the collisions makes it so I don't get stuck. All the collisions are basically bounce, but under the mushroom it's a little bit different, and I'll show you why. If the hit points of the mushroom, see other, is lower than, is equal to 100, sorry, I'll bounce off, just like anything else. But if it is smaller, then I bounce a little differently. For one thing, you have more than one creature on the screen, so how do you bounce appropriately off each of these creatures, especially when they're attacking you and coming at you a certain direction or pushing you. So if I stood still, the mushroom, whichever way he was going, would push me around. So I point to the clo the instance nearest, the mushroom which is closest. I I set that to a variable called facing, and I f or a pointer, and I face the direction. Sorry, point to me is the variable I'm making, and I face towards point to me. Therefore, I'm facing towards the closest mushroom, and my speed is set to where I'm facing always uh, at a negative 5. So I'm actually not bouncing, I'm just kind of reversing directions. And that's needed so you don't bounce weird directions. Say there's one injured mushroom out of the 100 that are there, and all of a sudden you're bouncing this weird direction because of that one mushroom. Okay, so let's go to attack, which is also controlled here. Oh, I forgot to mention you have to plug in a, a joystick to get this to work. I used my 360 controller when I was making this game and none of these controls work under the keyboard. Sorry about that. Uh, you can just change everything to keyboard if you want, but hopefully you have an Xbox and can plug a controller right in. Let's see here. Any, any USB controller should work. This one's my sword. Basically I have, I have controlling variables this controls the sound, so ignore that part. And I create an instance of my sword, kind of offset from where I'm facing. And the animation plays, which gets the slicing animation. But this only works if I have stamina. Remember, we created under air and down, we created stamina. And there's an alarm. Now, magic is a little bit different. Here's my shield. If I have a shield, meaning I picked one up sometime, then it will show a shield. Now here's talent. If my talent is equal to 1, it controls my fireball. If my talent is equal to 2, it controls my lightning. For fireball, it's pretty simple. I have timers that, can, that control how fast I shoot the fireball, and I have talent points, which control my mana. But basically, I just throw a fireball, and and it goes off a certain direction. But with the with the lightning, I create instead of creating lightning, I create a crosshair. Right here. This crosshair uh, takes over control so I can no longer move 
and when it's in existence my character can no longer move and then when I hit the button again wherever the light of the crosshair may be it creates the lightning spell and again I use a trigger here wait to start connected with an alarm to control the speed of the lightning now unless you do this you might shoot off like 20 different lightnings when you hit that button because the computer makes millions of calculations at once it needs timing to be able to work properly and that is how you get your control uh, a general way a showing of how you get your controls to work in attacking